remember Julio Ribeiro, but I have a few lines just to introduce him, especially for the youth over here. Julio Francis Ribeiro is a former police officer and civil servant and recipient of the Padma, uh, Padma Bhushan and President Police Medal for Distinguished Service. During his illustrious career, in which he survived a couple of assassination attempts, he served as the Commissioner of Police of Mumbai and Special Secretary to the Government of India, Ministry of Home Affairs. Mr. Ribeiro also served as Director General of Police Punjab and was advisor to the Governor of Punjab at that time. He is a former ambassador of India to Romania and following his retirement from the civil services, he has served on a number of corporate boards. As Father Fernandez just shared with us, unfortunately, Julio Ribeiro could not be with us in person today because of ill health. But we have a short interview with him. So turn yourselves and turn to the screens on either side for a short interview with the super cop. I don't say that they should not protest. They have a right to protest, but not in this manner. Now, uh, I, I, my saying that I don't want uh, given up the gun, well, the gun was more or less uh, forced on me because I never carried a gun in my service except when there was a riot when you had to go armed. Uh, then I would deposit that gun in the, in the armory. But now, uh, I was very happy that I'm no longer in the uniform force and with an uniform force the problem of carrying guns and using force is no longer there. So uh, I like to work for people because people deserve that. You have, you have to give back to society what society has given to you and uh, I have got a lot from the people of Mumbai especially when I was the commissioner of police here. And then their love and I have to return. And hence I've decided to work in my city of Mumbai. Well, that, uh, you know, that biblical teaching of Jesus, that you, if someone slaps you on your cheek, then offer the other cheek, that may not be pertinent and relevant at all times. And what I feel that the small Christian community can do is to raise its voice against injustice. Now tell me, if you, if you know the history of, of the church, what did Jesus Christ actually do? He fought injustice. He fought the injustice of the Romans who were ruling Israel. He fought the injustice of the, of the, of the clerical uh, establishment, the rabbis, who were misusing their power in, the, in Jerusalem. So these are the things that you people should understand, every Christian should understand, and that it is his duty to raise his voice against injustice, not allow in, not to do injustice himself, and to ensure that others who do injustice are condemned, because this is what we, uh, the teachings of the church go. I, I don't think I'm a devout in the sense that I believe in all the rituals. I, I don't, in fact, I, I don't really believe in the ritual, but I do believe that the basic tenets of Christianity, basic tenets of love and compassion for your neighbor, for truth, for justice, for service. Christ was a person who was so particular about service. He washed the feet of his disciples. This was service. He was a servant. And so if you are uh, Fortunate enough to be in a sub, I was in the Indian police service, Indian administrative service. These are services you have to serve. You are a servant and don't behave like a master. That is most important. 
well, that's a very tall order. You see, the first NGO which I established after I returned from Romania was the Mohalla Committees. This movement which we started for, to get the communities together, this is more relevant to our present situation. And I tried to integrate the Muslims in the slum areas with the majority community. We have succeeded to a great extent. I would say that that uh, project did succeed to a great extent. Not that it has totally done away with, with, uh, with you know, uh, a kind of feeling of one community against the other, but there are many things that we have papered over. They sit together, they eat together. So in that respect, uh, we have done a great job. More than that, they co cooperate with the police and they tell them if there is any tension brewing in that area. The second NGO which I started later was the PCGT. I did it with Mr. Deshmukh, who was then the cabinet, who, who retired as cabinet secretary, very good friend of mine. So we both of us and Dr. Anand, the third person, he is a pediatrician, very well known from Mumbai. So the three of us started this public concern for governance, thinking that we would fight corruption. But let me tell you that that is a very tall order, and we have understood that we have we have just got don't have the tools or even the ability to do it. But we try to influence young people. We go to the schools, we go to the colleges, and we use the RTI, and we try to see that people get there. Uh, what is uh, available to them, what the government has promised to them, without paying a bribe. It's difficult, I agree. And most people would like to just use speed money to get uh, rid of their uh, problem. They would like to pay and get it done, and that is a big nuisance in our country. The country will not progress unless this is combated. So we are trying to get young people to understand this and get involved so that when they grow up, which is, hap which is going to happen in a few years, we have a different India, at least as far as Mumbai is concerned. So that is uh, what uh, I've been trying to do. You know, one of the greatest uh, features of Christianity, one of the basic concepts is to love your neighbor. This is what Jesus has taught us himself. Love your neighbor as thyself. Well, it is not happening today in, uh, in our country. It's unfortunate where a lot of hate has been generated. And uh, more than hate, fear. A lot of fear. And that is what we should be very worried about. Well, uh, what would be my message to the conclave? Friends, a special thank you to NDTV for conducting this interview. Can we put our hands together for Julio Ribeiro and NDTV, please?